Welcome to another Great Card Basic demonstration. This one focuses on using the UNO board with um, Great Card Basic. So, uh, an UNO board is supported within Great Card Basic. It's a Mega 328p at 16 megahertz. That's uh, quite important because that can't be changed with an UNO board. So, though the chip runs faster, uh, you have to run it at 16. Connectivity is extremely easy. All the programming tools are installed with your installation and are fully integrated and you have lots of example code and lots of the PIC code is also portable to the UNO. The, and this is the quickest way to get an LED flashing. I've got one attached, I'll show you that shortly. So as, a, as the UNO board is fully integrated, um, it's very simple to set up and you can use uh, what is a thing called GC Studio or Synrite as your IDEs. Um, GC Studio is a managed environment so that you get all the updates automatically. Uh, Synrite is a static environment, you install it once and you don't get any updates. Uh, GC Studio is the uh, what I'm going to be using initially but I will show you using Synrite. But you can use GC Studio and Synrite in the same environment and they are fully managed. So use GC Studio and I'll show you how to do that. In this video, I'm going to show you how to where to get the setup for GC Studio. I'm going to show you using the IDE with the UNO for GC Studio and Synrite. It is the same experience, irrespective of what you use. <coughs> Lots of demos. Demos on GitHub and demonstrations within your installation. They're the same files in both places. The master set is always in GitHub. So let's have a look at what I've got here. Um, I've got an Uno. It's uh, sitting there, a bit dark, but it doesn't really matter. And we're going to flash the LED. And I've got um, a desktop. And I will start up GC Studio by clicking on the GC Studio icon. It might be on your desktop. And it will take you into uh, this environment. There we go. Um, essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to zoom in on this, and um, I'm just going to select an open uh, a local folder, and that local folder is my demonstration folder. So it's demos, vendor boards, Arduino boards. I'm just going to select that and let it open up the IDE. Here we go. In the IDE, we get a little cow when it's settled, and all the modules are loaded. On the right, left hand side, there is a um, there's a, a set of files which you can see, uh, and I'm just going to select Uno Blink, and that will load a piece of code, um, a program into the um, environment, and that's exactly what we want to do. So we're going to move this program into the Uno in a few moments. To do that, you need to um, either press Function Key F4. And that brings up a list of tasks and you need to select edit programmer preferences or you can click on this top right hand corner there is a show task menu and select the same thing edit programmer preferences and what we're going to do now is zoom in on there for you so you can see it and then we're going to set up the communications channel and that's all we have to do to set up the relationship between the IDE and the UNO. I select the UNO, make sure it's at the top. You can drag these things around, but just put it at the top for today. Edit. And the only thing you need to change in here is the COM port. Just make sure that the COM port is correct. I have COM1, I have COM28. Well, I know that COM1 is my internal communications port and COM28 is where my UNO is located. So press OK, press OK. And now what I've done is I've joined the, um, I've joined my IDE to the um, UNO. So to program it, you can press F4 and then actually it's a list and you'll very quickly learn that if you press F5, it's the same thing or 
top right hand corner H and F says make hex and flash which it will do now and it down at the bottom here you can see it says executing the programming event it's connected to it it's downloaded it to the UNO and it's done it if we look out it's now flashing let's just go back and do that again but what we're going to do is change the the rate to 100 milliseconds just to prove it's working I'm going to press function key F5 um, function key F5 the programming event occurs and then if I look at the LED it is now 100 milliseconds so there we have connecting the IDE to the UNO using the editor preferences and we, do, we can select that if I remind you task menu edit program of preferences and we get into that interface so let's look at that in Synrite. Now I'm going to ac access Synrite by using GC Studio. I'm going to select the tool, the little spanner. And then I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see it. And I'm going to change my IDE to Synrite. I'm then going to zoom out for you and press back. Now, when I open the IDE, it will open Synrite. So I'm going to continue without code, and it takes me into Synrite. And this is just the way it works. It's just a managed environment. So I'm going to open up that same demonstration. Hopefully there it is. And here it is. It says 100 milliseconds is exactly where we left it before. And in here, you can select the programmer the the programmer preferences by pressing this icon here which is called GC um, GC basic let me zoom in for you there we go here edit programmer preferences or you can go into IDE tools GCP tools edit program of preferences control alt e and it will bring you into exactly the same user interface it is no different arduino is at the top edit and it is still com port 28 because it's using exactly the same setup okay okay didn't change anything in reality i'm just going to change this now to a different sort of program I'm just going to flash that LED in an irregular pulse I'm pressing function key F5 and I'll do that again so you can see it on the video function key F5 flashes up the window it's a programming event if I look at the lab now the LED is flashing irregularly so that's what I wanted to show you in recap you have to essentially connect it through the edit program of preferences and select the correct port and that's all you have to do to get the UNO working so let's just uh, wrap that up then that's using a board um, using the UNO board with great code basic we'll call that a wrap <laughs>